Hey bro, glad to see you're making to the point videos still. I find no uh, fault that I'm going to attack on the video. I know I wouldn't do that to a friend anyway. I would uh, just send a private note and say, hey, this, that, one thing or another. I show honor and I show respect to my friends. And you are both in my mind. But uh, I do have to say one thing. I've got a gentleman that subscribes to my channel. Sorry, I was emptying out my ashtray. And he's a single father. And I give him kudos, the fact that he, as a man, stepped up to the plate and he's taking care of his kids. That in and of itself earns him my respect. Now, I know it's not the same person you're talking about because I went to my channel to make sure of the username. And it's not. As far as the issues, uh, people, uh, this isn't for Wobblehead. It isn't for the people who have made comments on the page. It's for everybody. You need to stop backbiting each other. You need to find a common ground to come together in, un in unity to face what is coming down upon all of us. And if you can't see it, you need to have a brain transplant. Not trying to be insulting. That's just the way it is. We've got specialists now, and I even took economics in college. That does not make me a professional at it, though. But I know 1 plus 1 equals 2, not 5. And I know you can't derive value from nothing, which is what the bank banksters do. The only cost they have is for the paper pulp, the cotton fibers that go in, as well as the ink. Oh, and labor, which they watch over with Hawkeyes, I'll tell you. All right, so they've got that minimum cost, but they get the full value back of what denomination is printed on that bill. Plus, they get 10% interest of that value that they get back. Not the 10% interest on the cost of the production of the money. No. Now, as far as uh, chemtrails, uh, New World Order, we've, had a, we've heard enough people talking about the New World Order, and uh, I've got documentation on that stuff. Uh, it's, yeah, it's here. It, it will be uh, rammed down our throats or up our other sides. It just depends on whether you're willing to accept it or not. Is what it all just comes down to. Now, I'm not going to keep harping on the New World Order. Because to me, that's a given. Uh, and if you don't see it happening, even with what the people who are doing it write in their own books, they actually write books and they put in there that they're going to be doing this. Okay? They themselves say they're going to do this and you want to deny the New World Order is going to happen? <laughs> That's insanity. That's willful ignorance. And one of the things I do not tolerate very well at all, and thank God I'm on medication for this, is willful ignorance. Because I have no use for someone who is willfully ignorant. Concerning the chemtrails, there's a video out uh, on YouTube. I haven't got it on my channel yet. I'm going to be posting those videos back up there. I've got videos of independent news stations. Independent, remind you. Not affiliated with the regular networks. Went out and collected samples of rainfall right after chemtrails. Barium and beryllium and some other goodies were in there. Do you know what beryllium is? Beryllium is a radioactive isotope from aluminum. Oh, let's see, aluminum. Oh, yeah, Parkinson's disease. Alzheimer's, it contributes to it. Check your deodorant and see if you've got aluminum steroid in it. As well as cooking off of you aluminum utensils. Ingest that aluminum by all means. 
there's also a video of two police officers. It was down south somewhere. It might even be South Carolina. Uh, they're driving along, and it's right after chemtrails have been sprayed. And they get not rainfall. They get something that comes out of the sky with the consistency of greasy snot. I know that's vulgar, maybe shocking to say the word snot, but that's what they had. And they they couldn't their wipers couldn't keep up with it. Now, the two police officers get out of their cruiser. They have vinyl gloves on and they're scooping this shit off their window. One ends up in the hospital. Hmm. Why if it's just a natural phenomenon? Maybe it was, uh, like in the old days, fish. So they made sushi out of the fish and blended it up into a puree, and that's what fell, right? Is that what it is that fell on those police officers' car that ended up putting one of them in the hospital? Hell, he might even be dead for now. by now, all I know. But I do have that video. And I will make sure that I post relevant material about this stuff so you can stop yakking about it and arguing about it. Do your own damn research. Don't just blindly attack each other. We need unity. We need cohesion. We are a nation. If we don't start to act as a nation, then we're doing exactly what the elite have written in their books. Do you know what they write in their books? The only way for them to achieve unity amongst us as a nation of peoples is to create an outside threat in order to get cohesion. Is that what it's going to take? Or is love, forbearance, common sense, and the willingness to be there to help each other instead of the buck? Huh? How do you think the early settlers got around? How do you think they got along? Well, when somebody gets married, the village, the people get together and they build them a house. Everybody sits down to a good feed. They need a barn. The same people come back, build them a barn. Everybody sits down, has a good feed. That isn't where it stops. Those people, in turn, keep passing it on. They go and help others. So it's a way of paying forward. We have to pay forward to each other in, out of love and kindness and compassion for each other. We cannot continue to dog each other you're playing right into their hands. They have told you that they want division amongst the people. Not just amongst the races. They want division, period. As long as we're attacking each other, we're not focusing on what's really going on. So, let's see. 934 billion, I think, is the estimate they now say. But before they voted on it, it was $940 billion dollars. You tell me any government contract that has come in at cost. Show me the proof. Why is it that the uh, Government Accounting Office has records of toilet seats and hammers for over $100? I can go to a Home Depot or a Lowe's or any hardware store for that matter and get one for a few bucks. Where's the logic in that? Greed needs to end. Live simply to simply live. What do you what benefit are you really truly deriving aside from your ego by all the stuff you have? Because stuff ends up owning you, not you owning the stuff. Because you're always worried about it when you're not around it. You're worried about fire. That's why you get household insurance. Or you're worried about thieves, rust, moss. Everything it speaks about in the Bible. You're worried about your earthly treasures. When you're not dealing with here. Where you to truly take care of each other. You are your brother's keeper. That's what we need to see as a reality if we are to survive instead of being divided up into 10 little mini countries dominated by foreign powers why do you think they have regional governors look at